Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Toyota Avalon. Before we do that, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, so the Toyota Avalon is all brand new for 2019. It's been all redesigned for 2019. I think the Toyota Avalon is really cool. It was kind of, it's been pseudo on my radar because I was looking for a cheap used car, and the Toyota Avalon is one of those vehicles that is really dependable. You can put a ton of miles on them, da-da-da-da-da. I ended up going with a Grand Marquis, but the Toyota Avalon is super cool, so I wanted to take a look at the brand new one. So we can see that the 2019 Avalon starts at $35,500. Uh, dollars. That's its MSRP. The model that they're showing is is 422. Um, the gas mileage is 22 city, 32 highway. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's do this little. Says that we can spin this thing. So let's. All right. I guess we can spin it a little bit. I like the uh, the black mirror caps. I think the car looks well. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm usually partial to the lighter colors of cars. I won't go into why. But this car looks really really nice. This is called the Windchill Pearl, uh, Harbor Gray Metallic, Opulent Amber. Well, it looks brown to me. Uh, Celestial Silver Metallic, Midnight Black Metallic, Ruby Flare Pearl, Brownstone, mm -hmm, and Parge or <laughs> Parisian Night Pearl. Oh, here's some pros and cons. I have a few more things to say about this vehicle. Here's some pros and cons. Pros. This car has lots of standard advanced safety features. It's got a comfortable ride quality, and it's got a quiet and roomy cabin. You can see there's seven models available, too. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, the cons, uh, all-wheel drive is not available. You can't get all-wheel drive on a, on a 2019 Toyota Avalon. Uh, the sunroof apparently limits front headroom, and there's no Android Auto integration for this vehicle. Now, we're getting ready to look at the models. I particularly like, I've looked over them, I like the limited trim. I think it hits the sweet spot for the typical large sedan buyer. It straddles the line between Toyota and Lexus without the sporty features and the touches of the higher trim models. You know, it's eligible for rear parking sensors, cross-traffic braking, and the surround view camera that is only offered on the top touring trim. So, we can see the base model. Oh, we can do this. We can hit Details. So we can see a little bit more about each model. Now, I won't read all of this stuff. So if there's something you want to catch, make sure you pause the video momentarily. I just want you to see they're giving us the highlights on each spec. So it, it seems like each model comes with, here's the base model, and then the hybrid version of the base model. And then the next model up, and then its hybrid version. Uh, now, it seems like the Touring... The Touring doesn't get a hybrid version but the limited does we're all about the limited the limited starts at just under forty-two thousand. it gives you heated and ventilated front seats genuine wood interior trim 18 inch super chrome alloy wheels uh the intune three liter premium audio with the jbl with clarify dynamic navigation the app suite and that includes 14 speakers now we're going to go over some features of this car so don't worry, you're going to understand more about the Toyota Avalon before we get to the build. If you can see up here, we're going to we're going to go to the gallery, we'll go to the features. We'll probably only dip into the specs for like a hot second and then we'll jump into the build and build out our touring. And I'm sure this car is going to come in well under, well, not I don't know about well under, but it'll be under $50,000. I'd be surprised if this car was more than $50,000. Uh so what else? Oh, sorry. We're not over there. Uh, it gets the LED headlights with smoked chrome bezels and on-off feature, fully integrated LED daytime running lights with auto on-off feature and laser ablation design with dynamic auxiliary turn signals. Okay. All right. We'll hide those details and let's move on. So this is all part of the gallery stuff. And so we're not going to, I'm not going to click on these right now because we're going to see this stuff when we get to the gallery tab. So let's just go over this overview page really quick, get some quick highlights. Uh, they're talking about the design here. So the uh, dramatic front grille uh, of the Avalon makes a statement wherever you go. Strong character lines and sculpted surfaces. 
Accentuate the low wide stance to create a sleek silhouette that's unmistakable. Hey, you know what? I should have mentioned like at the beginning of the video that I did the 2018 Toyota Camry and I think that's redesigned because I'm looking at this car and this looks very much like the Toyota Camry and there's nothing wrong with that. I think the redesign is gorgeous and it's got a lot more sport in it and so I think that's really, really hot. Um, but I'll put a link up, or I should have already, put a link up so you can go check out the Toyota Camry as well if you like that car. I do. Uh, tech and connectivity. So with the available 1,200-watt JBL Auto System, audio audio system, Intune 3.0, Apple CarPlay as well as Apple Watch, and available Android smartwatch compatibility. Avalon offers wealth offers a wealth of technology that keeps you keeps up with you. Now, from some other information I came across, no Android Auto integration I thought was available, but apparently there must be. So, hmm, yeah, I was pulling. I sometimes I get some information from some some highly uh, regarded websites and so that's interesting we'll dig into that as we go on all right uh thrilling performance underneath avalon's touring air uh, touring's aerodynamic shape is a dynamic all-new adaptive variable suspension and a 300 301 horsepower 3.5 liter v6 um toyota, toyota safety sense peace of mind comes standard with an active safety package that includes pre-collision system with pedestrian detection dynamic radar, cruise control, and more, all, all to help you drive with added confidence. I'm sure we'll find out about that when we get to the features. All right, yeah, see all features. But before we jump to the features, let's jump over to the gallery real quick. Okay, so here we are at the photos and the 360 view. So they've got 17 exterior photos, 15 interior photos. We're not going to hit up the video, uh, and we'll see. Sometimes the 360 views just are a little bit hokey when I do the video, so we'll just kind of see how that goes. Uh, do they have words down here? They do. Uh, touring shown in windshield. Like, I'm not going to read it all, but I'll let you be able to see it so that way you can catch it. All right. Mm-hmm. Card looks nice. We saw that picture already. This is the limited, hybrid limited. There's the spoiler. And not a spoiler alert. Let me see if I can scroll up a little bit higher. There we go. We can still get all the words in, can we? Yes. All right. Maybe I should adjust that a little bit for if it's a two sentence, huh? If it's a little bit higher. All right, or two lines. All right, available Apple Watch shown, prototype shown with options. I think the Apple Watch thing is super cool. And then they do it on the Android as well. Uh, that's super cool. House in the desert. She's doing whatever. Let me hurry up here. Get through these. I don't have to go so fast. No, not as much commentary. Let's go. Um, good looking headlights though. Nice wheels for what they are. They're nice wheels. Um, all right, we're out of there. We checked out all the pictures. Let's go check out the features real quick. All right, so here we are in the features page. It's a long page. I can see the scroller. We're not going to take all day with it, but, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's, uh, hit that. And let's see. I'm not going to read all the paragraphs. Let me go back. Uh, Avalon Touring Exterior, all right, um, what's this? The signature lighting with dynamic turn signals, right? And remember, you can always pause the video momentarily if you want to catch that paragraph that they're saying. Uh, let me scroll up a little bit. All right, 19-inch uh, sport wheels, I like that. Um, that's all for the Touring. Quad exhaust tips. You know, we should just get the Touring for the couple extra bucks. I probably would. We might make this a touring video. Uh, let's see. Interior design. That's a very, very, very... Well, that's the limited. We're going to stick with the limited. That's a very, very attractive interior. That is really good looking. Um, nice. Look at that. Unique perforation pattern and two-tone stitching. That is very... Look at the uh, porous wood. Everything. Wow. Everybody is, when I say everybody, I mean all car manufacturers. Everybody's bringing A game, like, like serious A game. Look at this. Impressive. All right, engineering and performance, aerodynamics, adaptive variable suspension, sport exclusive sound. So, what they're piping that in through the audio? Yep, yeah, just like everybody else. BMW started that with the M5. I did do the brand new M5, by the way. Yeah, BMW started piping in sound through the uh, through the redesigned M3 in 20 or sorry M5 in 2013. But yeah, I did do the new one and I did the individual. I put a link up. You see it. 
Um, 3.5 liter engine. Let's find out a little bit more. 301 horse, equipped with the latest tech. Variable, notice how I stopped to read this. <laughs> Variable valve timing. Uh, Eight-speed tranny. Deliver whenever you feel the urge. I bet it does. I bet you it's peppy enough. Let's put it that way. It's peppy enough. Uh, tech and connectivity. All right, let's find out the real deal here. Found with the floating uh, center stack, uh, in tune, a large nine inch multimedia touchscreen, pinch and zoom, intuitive, easy to use, app suite, uh, Wi Fi powered by Verizon. Okay, Apple CarPlay, entitled first. Um, okay. Yeah, they they didn't say anything about so that integration with the with the uh, with the uh, Android Auto must just be through the watch or something. I don't know. It must not be the phone deal. They didn't mention it here. The JBL. This is the big dog. Twelve hundred watts, fourteen speakers, seven point one channel. All the good good stuff. Wearable connectivity. This is where they do the Android smartwatch. Is obviously the only thing that works Android related. Uh, but I think it's super cool. At least, you, at least you can get in, right? At least you can still get in. Uh, here's a 17-inch uh, display right in the in the driver uh, cluster, right in between the speedometer and the and the tachometer. You get a 7-inch display that gives you all your goodies right there. Uh, Wi-Fi wireless charging for your phone. Good deal. Good deal. I did a video about car tech and all that. I should put it up. I'm gonna. I love the wireless charging stuff, though. Super, super cool. Super cool. All right. We got through all of that. All right. Hybrid stuff. I'll go through it just because we're on the page. Uh, Avalon hybrid exterior. Um, that's interesting with the two-tone steering wheel like that. Uh, there's the interior of it. Uh, here's its powertrain. It gets a combined 44 MPG. Nothing to, nothing to talk smack about there. Uh, two and a half liter dynamic force engine. Amplify fun, it says. Hybrid performance, got eco mode, EV mode. Uh, you can run entirely on electric motors under certain conditions. That's cool. That's all good. St uh, uh, standard Toyota Safety Sense. All right, so pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, right? Again, if you want to read all of that, make sure you get a pause and catch all of this. It would just take too much time in the video to go through it. It's not that I'm not interested. It just takes a lot of time and we're covering it all, so that way you have all the information. All right, then we have the lane departure alert with steering assist. Okay, that's cool. And then we have the dynamic radar cruise control. Let me get all of that in. It's a lot of paragraph. And then we have automatic high beams, right? Automatic high beams, pretty cool. And that's uh, designed to activate at speeds above 25 miles an hour. All right. Uh, safety. Adaptive cornering headlights, bird's eye view camera with perimeter scan. You've got intelligence clearance sonar with rear cross traffic braking. Sweet. Then you have blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. This is this is the new this to me, this is the best. To me, it's either the side blind spot or this, right? These are the the rest of the stuff, hey, I can I know how to drive a car, but this is the kind of stuff. I want to know who's in my blind spot, who's behind me when I'm pulling out at the grocery store or at the mall or whatever, because people are crazy out there. So, yep, good deal. Uh, the star safety system. Okay, this apparently keeps you out of harm's way. And then total care they have here. Right, This is part of their uh, proper vehicle maintenance and taking care of your, your investment. All right, um, let's go over to, let's take a quick look at full specs real quick. I just want to check out some engine stuff really, really fast. Okay, so all I really want to do, I don't want to compare any models. I just want to check out um, the Limited, and I just want to make sure it gets that 301 horsepower engine. So exterior, let's just click on it really fast. All right, so just so you know, the check mark means it's standard. The circle means it's available. The the straight line means it's not available. All right, LED, da 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 da. Um, so I guess it's good to go through the standard features really, really fast, real fast. Like I said, you could always pause. Um, I'm really looking for engine stuff, uh, but we'll go through all this while we're in here. Uh, mechanical performance. Let me just jump down here real fast. More. Yes, it's got the 301 horsepower engine that makes that horsepower 
at 6,600 RPMs, and it makes 267 pound-feet of torque at 4,700 RPMs. That's what I really wanted to know. I'm a car guy that I need to know about the performance, the real performance. I need to know about it. I need to know about it. Now, what's up with this? Okay, so we can't get the bang, and we can't get the, the, the top, 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 top tier audio system. I can probably live without that. All right, let's get over into the build. Let's hit the build. Okay, here we are. Got over here. Wanted to know my zip code first, so I got all that information in. Let's come over here to the limited. It starts at 41.8, remember? Starts at 41,800. It gets 22 city, 31 highway. We've already looked at all the details, so we're not going to do that now. We're already past that, I would think. So let's go to the next step. The next step is, yep, we got the one motor. Yes, we know that. Let's go on the colors, right? Uh, colors is, what color do we want? Do we want the harbor gray? Or do we want the... Um, I liked the wind chill pearl. It's a $400 upgrade, but whatever. I like the color. I also liked the cognac leather trim right with a two-tone steering wheel i like it it's fine let's look at the larger images really fast look at the center stack it's good looking seats aren't bad Mm-hmm. this this looks very volvo to me though you understand what i'm saying and you know i did a volvo one you know i got a lot of videos you know why because i thoroughly do this subject that's why you want to subscribe to the channel i'm going to throw up my um my latest Volvo video, you can see the center stack. And, and if I'm right, leave a comment below. I bet you I'm right. Leave a comment below if that if this center stack looks like the one in the new Volvo. Hold on a second. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's move on. All right, that's that, 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 that. Those pictures are boring. We don't need to look at those. Okay, so went through all the photos. We want the windshield pearl with the cognac leather. Let's go over to packages. Advanced safety package, what does that give us? Let's look at the details just to be sure. That gives us the bird's eye view camera, the perimeter scan, intelligence clearance, sonar, and the rear cross traffic braking, and all of that goodness there for $11.50. We're on that. Thank you. We're at $43,345. Uh, accessories, I normally don't get into it, but seeing that you know there's not a whole bunch of stuff here, let's go through it. I like the all-weather floor liner cargo tray uh, package for $248. Get it. Got to get the wheel locks. We don't need to get this package because this is the upgraded package that gives us the whole thing. Uh, body side moldings, negative. Um, carpeted floor mats. Uh, yeah, because I probably want that in the in the summertime. Now, do I want the whole package that gives me the, the, one, the mat in the back? No, I always want the rubber mat in the back. So I'm just going to keep... Just give me the ones for the uh, inside. Uh, the door edge guard, eh, it's kind of cool, but I'm going to skip over it. First aid kit, no, no. What's the four season package? Well, dang, why don't they put that in the front? Let me get the four season package. Eh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Illuminated door sills, yes. The mud guards, yes, because your car gets just ruined down here with stuff from the road that just kicks up and just ruins it. Get the mats or the mud guards. I like that. Do you need this stuff? I'm not into it, but some folks like that stuff. Uh, rear bumper applique. I think if you're one of those people that like pull groceries and boxes out and slide it over your bumper and scratch your bumper up, yeah, get that. Uh, if you can pick it up, then no, you don't have to worry about it. So I'm not going to get it. But if, you, if you're one of those people and you know who you are, then get it. Do I need the TRD oil cap? I don't think so. I really don't think I need the Toyota Racing Development um, uh, gas cap. All right, so here we are at 44,286. Let's get over to the summary. Um, can we download this? Yeah, we can print the summary, so that means I can download this build summary. So if you like the spec on this car, go to the, uh, the details in the description below, and you can download the PDF for this if you like this. All right, so it's 45,206 out the door. The build summary will have all the details. If you've made it to the end of this video, you're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please comment and please watch more videos because I'm going to do more of them and they're going to be good. You have a wonderful day.